Hello, Daz community. This is not from this world, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, for this week's challenge, I did want to talk a little bit more about the Daz memberships. You know, over the last week since my last video, I have done some research. I've read a lot of your comments that you left on my video that I did last Tuesday. And I feel a lot more comfortable with what Daz is moving forward with now. And I thought I just wanted to, to uh, clarify this a little bit tonight and giving you some more information about their memberships. So if we go to the Daz website, Remember, we were talking about memberships last time, and I was wondering what the heck is going on. Well, it looks like Daz is just kind of adding a subscription option to their membership choices. So we still have this Daz base, which is free. So they're not going to be charging for Daz Studio. No one is going to be forced to buy a subscription so that you have a charge every month. You can still use Daz completely free like it's always been with the Daz base membership. Then what a lot of people have is what they call Daz Plus. This is what I'm currently at and Daz Plus had a membership fee. Remember, we used to pay like every three months for it. Now they're gonna charge monthly, but I don't think the price is really changing a whole lot. The Daz Plus will still get you everything that you already have right now, as far as, you know, membership bonuses, discounts, coupons, that kind of thing. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And then of course, the controversial membership is Daz Premier. And Daz Premier is where they're going to be introducing new content, new assets, uh, things like Mesh Grabber 4 will be part of Daz Premier. The new Render Queue will be part of Daz Premier and so on. But what we need to realize, and I didn't know this just a week ago when I discovered all this stuff is that Daz 4.23, if you want to upgrade to that, is not Daz Premier. It's just the next free update and you can update and use that whether you have the Daz Plus or if you have the Daz Base, you can still use Daz 4.23. What they're going to do is if you join Daz Premier, they will activate these things like Mesh Grabber 4 and Render Queue, along with other assets and bonuses like free character bundles and that kind of thing. So it's pretty cool to compare the different options that you have. So if you are one of those people that just absolutely you know, you're happy with Daz 4.21 or even an earlier version, you can stick with Daz Base or Daz Plus. But if you want to explore different options, you want to maybe get some new characters, get some discounts, you can bump up to Daz Premier. Now, thinking about it, I am going to take this plunge perhaps for you. And in the near future, I will be joining the Daz Premiere and exploring it, seeing how that Mesh Grabber 4 works, exploring the new render queue, that kind of thing. The good news is, is that, see, I already have Mesh Grabber. I already have render queue. I use them all the time. And I actually wrote in the Daz forums a question about is this going to change? Like if I join Daz Premier, do I still have access to all of my previous assets? And the answer was yes. So you won't lose anything that you already have. If you join Daz Premier, you'll just get these add-ons that are going to help you. These other assets, these other scripts and plugins that you can use that, um, 
will be activated with that membership. But if you stick with DAS Plus or DAS Free, you'll still be able to use everything that you have had previously. Now, I did notice that some of these things are not in the store anymore. The DAS Store doesn't have like Render Q3 anymore. And I don't have an answer for that. I don't know why they got rid of it. Um, hopefully you have it. Maybe it'll come back. I did hear from one of my patrons that Man Friday joined forces with Daz, and so they're working together to get different plugins put into the Daz Premiere or activated through Daz Premiere. Now, whether you're going to be able to purchase these things in the future, I have no idea. I really want to thank all of your comments last week. I got a bunch of comments on my video when I introduced these new memberships, and I really have learned a lot in the last week. So I want to thank everyone for their insight, their opinions, and of course, your comments surrounding just information. I think one of the big problems Daz has is they haven't released enough information about what they're doing with these new memberships. So uh, if I could give a recommendation to Daz, it would be you got to educate your customers so that they know what you want. And I don't think they did a very good job with that. In fact, I didn't even know that they had different memberships until I got a comment on one of my videos asking about it. So Daz has done, in my opinion, a poor job of, of advertising this and getting the word out as to what is actually going on with the memberships. So I thought I would just make a challenge video for this week kind of giving you an update on what I know. This all looks pretty good, actually. I, like I said, I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to get Daz Premiere, and once I have it, I will show you everything that's in it. If you want to hold off and wait, I will show you what the Premiere has to offer, and then you can make your decision whether you want to maybe upgrade or stay where you are. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this week's challenge video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me those comments. Let me know what you think about this after you know a week or so of kinda ruminating and thinking about it. I feel pretty good about it. Like I said, we're gonna try it out and see what happens. So let me know what you think, and until next time, happy rendering.